Hello everyone and welcome to Bursai for All. Today we have young and dynamic technical engineer Mr. Sai Kiran Sir with us. He did his B.Tech in Advanced Communication from CVR College of Engineering and he enrolled in Bursai for All. Now he is placed in Samo Graphic as an engineer. I am very happy that our team helped him in, in many ways to get him placed. Sir, thank you for joining and, and sharing and sharing your experience. Sir. Uh, so hi Vishal and hi all. Uh, so coming to myself, uh, I'm Sai Kiran and uh, basically I'm from Hyderabad. Graduated from Severe College of Engineering uh, in the year of 2020, uh, basically the COVID year. Uh, so yeah, uh, in my college, uh, during my college, I prepared for gate and gave attempt once and I uh, uh, I lost uh, I lost qualifying the gate in one mark. So next I didn't much try much, but so at that time uh, I had to join TCS. Uh, I had a couple of like three four offers uh, from TCS, Wipro, and Accenture, something like that uh, offers. Uh, but I, I joined uh, TCS as assistant systems engineer, which is an IT domain. And uh, but later my passion towards VLSA uh, uh, didn't stop me there. Uh, so uh, so I continued to prepare uh, for uh, to get placed into VLSA uh, into uh, core. Uh, uh, so I prepared parallelly doing job uh, in TCS. I used to attend some weekend classes in outside institute. Uh, then um, I worked there for one year, one complete year in TCS, and then joined uh, LNT, LNT Technology Services. Um, Initially, uh, like there was some company called Graphene Semiconductors, which was acquired by LNT later. So I joined LNT and uh, worked there for six months. And uh, yeah, but later I didn't uh, like I didn't find it that challenging and uh, work-wise. So I, I thought of uh, switching it. Uh, then I switched to uh, Cerimorphic. Uh, yeah, currently now working in uh, Cerimorphic. Recently, we have completed one tape out on 5 nanometer on the month of October. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a brief. Uh, so, uh, what course you join in with Uh Yeah, uh, actually, I joined uh, that um, some interview guidance uh, preparation kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, uh, initially, I was not known at VLSA for all uh, in the I think it started in the 2020 itself. So at that time, the uh, students were very uh, less number of students uh, in VLSA for all. But later, it picked up like anything, and uh, Rajat is doing a great job. In fact, um, uh, the courses in VLSA for all, like RTL design and verification, they are doing good job actually. Uh, taking uh, minimal charges from students, uh, not taking uh, like more and more charges and not burdening the students. In fact, who wants to get into VLSA? That's a good thing that I found uh, uh, with VLSA for all. And at that time, physical design was not there, but now recently it started, it seems physical design also. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't, I saw the curriculum once, but I don't remember the all the things in the curriculum, what are all there. But uh, yeah, when I saw it, it was very good curriculum. And yes, uh, yeah. So, uh, so how was your real interview experience at the same graphic and, uh, and how much VSA for all helps you in that? Yeah, the interview at uh, Cerimorphic, uh, I felt it a bit tougher than the other companies. I attended many companies and I got the offers also. Uh, uh, but the package was less at the, uh, in other companies, like service-based companies, few companies like Signoff, Digicom, and some other companies like Mirafara and all. Uh, but um, uh, so the Cermorphic interview, uh, it was a bit difficult when compared to other companies. That was what my experience, because they mainly, uh, they mainly uh, uh, test our knowledge on STA static timing analysis and uh, yeah the overall tool knowledge as well uh, and the basics of uh, like physical design all the uh, starting from synthesis and then pnr physical design and then um, sta yeah so it was a bit difficult uh, I, I i felt like and uh, the videos uh, uh, from vlsf are all like sta some playlist is there sta playlist in uh, youtube channel 
so that's uh, that that has very good content it will be useful to all the students actually it helped me also uh yeah that's what yeah for uh, so can you uh, tell us uh, your job profile at a demographic at what is the and what is a, what is the job profile and if any undergraduate beta student wants to get into this industry uh, in in your field so what skills they need to learn to get and uh, to get this job yeah so to get into physical design um, to get into physical design one should have good knowledge over the tool uh, either it's synopsis or cadence tool yeah many colleges in btech they do not uh, they do not give you access to synopsis or cadence tools because they are costly uh, uh, but one should have a very good knowledge over st also timing analysis because when we want to close the timing uh, uh, during tape outs na it will be we will be having a hectic work Uh, we should have like uh, good knowledge, uh, deeper knowledge over STA to close the timing. Um, and the Linux basics are also very much needed to be a, a good physical design engineer for the, for for the freshers. Uh, and one should have good knowledge over CMOS concepts. Okay, sir. Um, sir, you also previously uh, stated that you work in ADT as a an ASIC physical design engineer, sir. So, uh, yeah. what? You take from that company, and and how much skills from that company helps you in 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 your current company? Yeah. So initially, when I went into uh, uh, when I got into L and T Technology Services, I was not given project for the initial two months. Uh, but later, I was given some ODC projects, like internal kind of projects, and I worked on them. Uh, I worked on like couple of projects. Uh, on uh, the uh, those are on 20 28 uh, nanometer and uh, 45 nanometer um yeah, i got i got uh, i got some exposure over uh, the linux uh, linux environment uh, there and um, there i learned uh, how to use the cadence tools initially i, I was i was knowing only uh, uh, synopsis tools uh, like uh, icc2 Uh, i knew a synopsis tool at the time uh, but after getting into lnt they was using cadence tools like inovas so uh, which was very uh, useful even now in the ceramorphic we are using the same tool cadence tool inovas so it it, it is it uh, uh, it is very useful for me now sir any book any book or resources you want to mention for the for the experience want to learn this course Uh, actually there are multiple resources like uh, vlsa backend adventure mainly for physical design there can be many uh, uh, resources for rtl i mean front end designers but art, when it comes to backend uh, the resources are a bit less but yeah still there uh, the freshers who wants to get into physical design can definitely refer to those uh, for uh, to learn basics uh, like vlsa backend adventure physical design for freshers and like mantra vlsa some IVLSA and uh, yeah, there there are some websites uh, like this. Um, uh, these books and when coming to books, uh, one can refer that um, STA by Basker. That is very good. Uh, like uh, static timing analysis for nanometer designs. That is, that uh, that is a good book. That. and one if uh, if someone wants to get more knowledge over uh, a digital because to get into physical design digital is also uh, plays a, a big role a crucial role uh, to get a digital digital one should for uh, and uh, another book called uh, some digital circuits by anand kumar that was a local book by indian author that was also very good book we can easily understand the terminology and jargons very easily um, yeah these two books are very useful for digital maris mano and uh, uh, this anand kumar book and uh, sta for nanometer design by baskar yeah these are the books yeah so uh, thank you so thank, thank you sir for you so uh, we are the end of this interview sir and before wrapping up the interview yeah. sir please give us some motivation tips to our viewers So that after watching this video, they feel more motivated to work harder. Uh, placement motivated means like uh, yeah, pre- 
when compared to three four years back now the openings in vlsa are huge let it be physical design let it be rtl let it be verification let it be dft uh and the openings are now good the companies are recruiting even the freshers and uh, uh that's a very good thing yeah we all know that is vlsa is booming now in india yeah it's definitely uh, uh, true and um, yeah uh, currently the openings uh, what i saw as per the market the openings are less currently in the from the last one or two months uh because of some recession is going on some even intel has freezed some hiring something i heard something like that from few of my colleagues and few of my friends in my circle uh yeah uh, basics uh, cmos basics are uh, always uh, important uh, for all even a few inter few interviewers who take interview na they will ask even about bjt also even i was asked about bjt transistors and the applications ce cb cc configurations generally we people considered only on uh, mos basics but bjt are also uh, very useful if they if 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 you interviews will be asking on bjt also so we need, we should not uh, we should not forget those things also and uh, one second and yeah just uh, keep working hard and never give up that's the only motivation that's that's the universal motivation right yes sir, we should yes, not sir. we should never give up yeah, we can have a number of obstacles like covid some we will have some distractions we will have some financial problems we will have some fam family problems but uh, yeah we should not uh, we should not give up uh, that's what i believe in and uh, yeah uh, that's all thank you sir thank you for doing this it means a lot yeah thank you vishal thank you